Salutations and welcome everyone to Old World Blues, the A to Z series in which we're playing, starting with the M's, MacArthur. I might have missed another M Nation, but regardless, I'm excited to do MacArthur, a good old nation that is basically the Enclave. But we're building America today. Once there was a nation that held that all men were created equal, that they were endowed by the Creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That nation was mauled in the Great War, but we in the Enclave will never stop fighting for the American people. And from a base into a home. Once a string of bases across America's connected, uh, bases across America connected the U.S. government together, and many these held out until the fall of Navarro. These embers of patriotism were kindled by Santiago into new light, which shall guard the wastes while it burns. We already played a lot of 4.0 in the last great American dynasty. Many wastelanders knew America took a fatal blow when 2077, its armies and people burning in nuclear fire, but most of them don't know the tale of the men and women who kept the dream alive in the darkness that followed. The Richardsons served America after the Great War, preserving its dream and protecting its citizens, whether or not they knew it. An enclave of the best and the brightest who would keep the torch of freedom lit until it could burn again. They were close too, you know. The last Richardson had a plan to save the wasteland, a weapon that would kill the super mutants and throw ghouls who held back recovery until it all fell apart. Nobody knows what happened to the rig, a brother to steal commando raid, remnants of the master's army. Perhaps it was the rangers, cloaking their hatred of America and their sweet lies of liberty. Certainly, the NCR had no problem pouring north with tribals, brotherhood, paladins, and others in tow. The enclave killed many, but we had to leave. With a chain of command and disarray, Santiago took off and led the flight east. Let us honor her and how she served, or how she worked, to save America in the west. She took as many non-combatants as she could, but recognized weaponry would best serve the survivors. Ooh. We need population. But we can cord that, right? 4,000? We're going to need those pieces of equipment. They're fine pieces of equipment. The first families. The bombs glanced Missoula during the Great War, so the, while the city starved, its buildings survived. Today's city is dominated by the first families, survivors of those who planned properly for the bombs. And we have a nice cup of uh, fruit punch here. Happy 2275, my friends, and men to match these mountains. When the Enclave fled the west coast after the fall of Navarro, some fought on. Patriots who didn't give up on America journeyed east, by vertebrate, truck, or by foot. Thundering gun battles echoed across the Great Plains as they carved through the Brotherhood's despotism to reach Chicago, but Santiago. And those who stayed? In the name of fighting a rear guard action, they stayed at Navarro. With support from the Secretary of the Interior, they acted as a western flank of the Enclave. Gone was a president, but in his place was a land lightly touched by radiation. Home to happy, healthy children. A land where old soldiers never died, they just faded away. For something odd happened in the region, over time to survive, MacArthur began to trade with the surrounding towns and ranches. As the relationships followed trade, soldiers turned into ranchers, medics into doctors. When Missoula asked for help against Heaven's Gate in 2268, she was protecting her retired veterans as much as she was the people of the town. Missoula's ranches now feed the depot, and she turned the prisoners to coal mining. Mm. How many civvies do we have? It's not bad. Something I want to do. Ranchers. Uh, equipment. Eh, let's go with ranchers, why not? The fire burns beneath the ground. The world was on the cusp of greatness, they say, or was it hubris? Poseidon an energy drilled deep beneath the waves for the last of Earth's oil that harnessed the sun to keep old Vegas ablaze. And in Yellowstone, once a park, they drilled into Earth's marrow for energy. Marvelous in men's eyes, all day and all night, unto, unto them, a fire blazed, tireless and unquenchable. Poseidon's Hephaestus project, they say, would have powered 20 million homes for thousands of years. They say it would have solved the resource crisis, or they say it would set off a volcano and another nuclear winter, but they say lots of things, don't they? Yellowstone's rangers refuse to activate the plant, but others wonder, think of what we could do with such power. So now what do we get to do? Change in ruler. So right now, we're led by Ellen Santiago. We're intellectuals. She's Montana's mother. Ooh. Cardinal Santiago was a woman pulled in many directions, having made it through the loss of the rig and the President Richardson. She's only taken on greater and greater responsibility through the years. She's an answerable to the Secretary in Chicago, duty-bound to her faithful staff, entangled with the desires and ambitions of the First Families, as well as a proud mother. Balancing these many competing interests is a task many would buckle under, but the Colonel would like to think she's made her of sterner stuff. The days to come will be your chance to prove it. Go east, young man. Although Colonel Santiago helped develop Western Montana and brought law and order, MacArthur's research base cannot rival the bright lights in Chicago. As one of her few scientists lamented, it felt like the visionaries of MacArthur spent their time relearning basic techniques, like crop rotation, instead of harnessing the power of the atom or FEV, as they did out east, and then support from the Secretary of the Interior. MacArthur is but a fraction of the Chicago Enclave's power, but serves as a vital role in the western outposts of the United States. The Colonel can always get more support, assuming they act in the best interest of the Secretary of the Interior. First Families. 
Mozilla was an odd town for the wasteland. A town had good, unpopulated farmland, or unpolluted farmland. Uh, herds of healthy bison, forests for timber nearby. Nobody went hungry, but even in every society, some are more equal than others, and Missoula was no exception. The first families descended from the scavengers who returned after the war. Controlled the best lands, the best forests, and the best mines, Colonel Santiago's detachment only increased the division. For who but the rich could afford the Army Corps of Engineers? Moreover, the increased security Santiago brought turned the region into a magnet for refugees fleeing Heaven's Gate and the Collins. The lucky ones found jobs in sweatshops or farms, the unlucky ones, well, there was a winter every year. One of Santiago's more considered decisions was the use of auxiliaries, trained with local equipment. She favored drawing forces from the first families, but others counseled that the refugees would be reliable to whoever offered a better life. They're reliable? Aren't we refugees as well? Resource production. Manufacturing process. Team October. The Colonel isn't the only Santiago in MacArthur. Her daughter, Martha, rose to the ranks of the Enclave. Martha could have requested a soft posting in Raven Rock or Chicago, but she chose to serve with her mother at MacArthur. There she works with the Colonel to protect the people of Montana, a true inspiration for all Americans. There are those who say she's gone native, those who whisper indeed that she may be a mutant, but if that were true, how could she handle the Enclave weaponry so effectively? Martha's unit, Team October, guards the waste and handles threats that need a special touch. Diplomacy with the first families, a raid on the Middle Mouth outpost, trade mission to the bazaar, well, why not? What else is Team October for? I'm glad she's on our side. Fantastic. So basic training, huh? So what do we want to do first here? Refined Warfare, obviously, we have to go with. Mechanized Army. I'm thinking, well, we're using Old World Blues. Old World Blues tech expansion. Uh, Old World Blues generic uh, decisions revamped. Radio. Um, I think that might be it, maybe. The state tension tool mod, I think, as well. Tanks? We could use tanks. Enclave's Burden, Refined Warfare, Demo Teams, Blast from the Past. Mm, this stuff is nice to have. We don't have to have that immediately, though. Tales from Granite Company. The Chair Force, pretty normal. Fighter Technology, Close Air Sport. We need roads. The Missoula Market, you get some money. Oh, Missoula becomes an economic node, which would be very, very beneficial very, very quickly. Get a lot of civvies, more people, intellectual support. So I do want to let you know that the last time I played as MacArthur, I went down this right side, the Long Night. So really becoming the right arm of the, or the, really the western arm of the Chicago Enclave. So, yeah. So I did this route last time. So I think we'll go down the center route. Liberty's country is not bad. But I'd rather have the last command for this campaign. So, uh, regardless, shipment from Chicago. Chicago will take water, armed workshops, refined warfare, armed workshops. They fight for freedom. God's Garden, Gibsonville outpost. Sergeant Grant and his boys have found a home. Mm, it's not bad. Shields of Humanity. I'm just looking to see what would be best. A unique ability from Chicago to har harass your enemies, both strengthen their influence. I kind of like that. Command and Control. Team October is a war of the Montana chapter. Enclave doesn't go to heaven because we're raising hell. Nice. Defend against the Brotherhood. Montana's last mockery. Fate of the Traitors. A seat on the board. Loot the Brotherhood stockpiles. Send salvage to Colorado, Chicago. Well, I think the best thing we could do is the Missoula Market. Missoula's market is already the best Montana with some further renovations. Could be the largest as well. We need money. Civvies would be nice. 10,000 more population is pretty good. Civvy civvies. Because um, really, we're with the Colonel right now. Uh, Joseph Franklin, refugees. Mm -hmm. I think we want to stay with this one, don't we? Because right now this one, a pack of hyenas. Uh, I'm not really sure. Ah, so Wings of Liberty versus this one. Elites. Couple stockpiles, open to traders. There's incidents. Uh, let's fix her upper. Desperate reinforcements. There's last issue reinforcements. The United States is not a soup kitchen. The Bazaar. I used to think I was the strangest person in the world until a man dressed as Zeton sold me a hot dog with spiced mayonnaise. At least I think I was. Um, if you remember this, please go ahead. Beep. Closing ranks. Protect American resources. Liberate Navarro. 
Or Havre. Don't call home. Ruler and this elite. I just go with intellectual steel town. I don't know. I don't think it really matters to me too much. I like the stability. Stability is always nice. Lighting up the rattlesnakes. More political power or stability versus civvies. Well, let's go with the try to get the political power first. Down on the farm. Get a little bit of stability too. One of the best uses for refugees is to work on the farms and ranches outside of Missoula. We can help provide them a new life as employees of the first families and light up the rattlesnakes. The little rattlesnake is where the first families of Missoula made their home. A lovely neighborhood. We'll gain more support if we ensure they have adequate power. Nice. It's only level zero, but you know, we gotta start somewhere. At least it's positive. Alright, so if that's the case, um, we could send some stuff to Chicago for stuff. Shipments to Chicago. Ask what. Given all the Enclave does for America, is it in time for America to pay it back? MacArthur's but a fraction of the power. So they're gonna take. Ask what you can do for your country, okay. Uh, advanced technology decisions, being a scavenging program, we can go and do that. Do we, get, do we have anybody here who can give us more political power? Chicago School of Economics. Oh god. Reaping the benefits. A trader. Scientific devotee. The Chicago Mercantile Exchange. And then we have a gifted translator. People support. Homesteader. American Soil for American Causes. Intrepid Journalist. Civilian Outreach. Fuel Efficient Subroutines. The Bizarre's Costume Change. Well. Political Power Goes Down. Mason Salvatore. Interesting. World Renowned Starlet. Well, maybe not. Bizarre's Marketplace of the Exotic, the Expensive, the Esoteric uh, Trading Emporium. Based on a pre-war underground shopping establishment. Legend has it that monster army which runs a bazaar found it under four feet of snow when they first heard idling arcade games. Another legend says they ate the previous inhabitants, big farmers who they followed underground. Either way, the real horror are the prices. Alan and Team October journey to the bazaar to pursue rumors of grab plates that can be placed on vehicles to eliminate fuel use, but upon arrival they face a dilemma. The bazaar's current master, Flab, the inhaler, took long long dealt fairly with MacArthur, but that's a problem. He showed no favoritism. Accepting traders from across the north, but Augustus Bailey had an offer for the colonel. Want to help him take over the bazaar? How absurd was it that the former raider gang ran one of the north's greatest trading hubs? Normally, Team October would stay out of such internal matters, but the benefits were clear. Augustus Bailey offered to give him the greatest of the bazaar's arsenal, a stash of pre-war miniguns. But any conflict in the bazaar would destroy the grab plates and jeopardize one of the north's greatest trading hubs. What does Team October do? Stand with Flab? Grab plates. Bazaar belongs to the Baron. Stand with Flab. Unwelcome guests. Oh, I guess you're kind of already in part armor, aren't you? Fine. Some elder or slander the colonel's harsh methods uh, to civilize the north, but clearly she's been successful. Some slander the colonel's harsh methods. If she was, if she weren't, why would there be so many refugees trying to come to Missoula and Bozeman? But they are a problem. MacArthur simply cannot sustain so many poor wastelanders at this time. To this end, refugees are turned back at the town's borders, but smugglers try to sneak them into our slices of pre-war America. Corporal Ellen and her team of rangers captured the smuggler's ringleader, Mama Cotton. Cotton refuses to stop helping these wastelanders, but for now they're nothing but a drain of Missoula. Well, what shall Team October do? Turn a blind eye to smuggling, we can't ignore our fellow Americans. Refugee crisis, oh god. Send the smugglers to the stockades. Ooh, it hurts our stability, but we do get more political power, which you do like. But we're gonna hurt our stability anyways. The Yellowstone Rangers were assisted by the Brotherhood. Surviving ones tells us tales of out east. Hmm. Appeal to refugees. Let's burn them. This we can do a little slice of heaven too. Restoring refugees. Western refugees. Well, it unlocks a fast. I'm going to go to the War of the Stormmongers really fast. Um, how many divisions I got? 3 to 13. <laughs> we could be really risking it initially and try to fight them.
ask what you can do for a country. History cannot stand still, and as their mighty station approaches its 500th anniversary, new orders fly uh, to MacArthur. America's heartland is ripe for liberation. The Midwest brother, the threat for so long, can be crushed if only MacArthur helps. To that end, the Secretary of the Interior asks for MacArthur to increase the resource shipment ease, and we can finish a great work. So, my dear commander, what will you send us? Let's find some, some energy. Uh, basic training wouldn't be terrible to do, I guess. I am the past, the spirit of the warriors who have made the final sacrifice. I am the present, the scholar and apprentice soldier enhancing my skills in the science of warfare and the art of leadership. But above all, I am the future, U.S. Army Cadet Handbook 2275. We'll probably go to the Golden Gecko, that's pretty easy. That's what I normally get. A little more stability, a little more political power. It's all good stuff. Because then I want to get Research Advisor, maybe? Land Doctrine Research Speed, plus 0.15. Power Armor Technology Research Speed. Uh, Wilson Johnson, Sands of the Desert, Power Armor Specialist, Military Theorist, Tactical Historian. Patronized Historians. Well, it's not really worth it. This guy's better. No, this, this one was only... Jenny Simpson. Yeah. Then, with Missoula, I want to increase you too. Northern Commonwealth, Montana Enclave. Attack on the caravans. Stormmongers and metal mouths become more aggressive as of late, perhaps inspired by the Montana chapter. We need to decide who to protect the Crow Trucking Company, which knits Montana together, or outlying farmsteads. Protecting the caravans will gain first family support, but this will turn more people into refugees and cost us support. We made our choice. Good. Enclave's burden. Uh, little slice of heaven. Uh, citizens of Montana, this is your colonel speaking. Have you ever thought how privileged you are? How fortunate? You live in the greatest state of America. Indeed, it can only be said that Montana is the only America. Yeah, I'll go with a little slice of heaven next. Can we further improve you? Yes, we can. Total value 22.63. 24.36. Let's get better. Good. How much money do we have right now? 62. Good. I hope we had some more things we could send out you with. That'd be nice. So let's work on that. You now we're going to go to Van Grass if we have enough opinion, but we don't. Powered melee weaponry? Probably not. Gun runners are always pretty good to get. There you go. Looking decent. And after that, um, Gibson Outpost. Shipment from Chicago. Sure. Chicago will be glad to send more assistance out west, but may come with an understandable request for more assistance with a great uh, work. But aren't all Americans in this together? Montana, Patriot. Add freedom of speech. The Montana Patriot will keep appraised of events in Montana. But be careful, a house of newspapers would be more feared than a thousand bayonets. Yeah, no, I don't want that one. If anything, I'll never choose that one and... Or... Something will happen to her. Good. You know what? Screw this. You're gonna be the front line here. Everyone else can try to hide the holes. Or hide in the holes. Need is good. A lot of time. Oh, gotta do it all this stuff too, didn't I? I'm about to know it's more. Good. And she's already level four, so I guess I won't do inspirational. I'd rather do local leader. But let's get pain train first. And left cover. When we get there. Darn, we're stuck with that. Followers of the Apocalypse. Mm, honestly, with oh, the decisions, we'll let them come in for now. They're not necessarily refugees, and they can help take care of them, so we don't have to deal with them. That's the way I see it. Alright, so what else we got here? The right hand. Enclave Reborn. Ooh, heavy special forces. Ranger Instructor will bring the fireworks. Incalculable Hatred. 
the right hand. We send survivor. Broadcast monitor. Alison Corazon. Back in black. Civilian outreach starting plus 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 ten percent. It's not bad. Two-time dealer. Mm. Chicago School of Economics. Well, Aaron Graham, I guess, one of the only members of the Enclave State Department. Graham has relied upon engaging diplomacy with the outside world. Graham's exposure to Wayson has given him a more tolerant view of the most, and his willingness to compromise makes him a bit of an outlier. Pushed MacArthur due to his turf war with the Department of the Interior, who also asserts dominion over all relationships with American Wasteland. Graham may not may yet prove be useful to the Enclave. But get more people support though. He's already pretty low anyways. Yeah, I'll get him. More political power for now, until we get rid of him. Is that worth it? Probably not, but whatever. Shelter, shelter from the storm. We could do that if we really wanted to, but we don't have to. Last professional army. How about the survivalist bunkers? Well, some wonder why the Colonel Santiago knew how to find the old survivalist bunkers. None can deny that they're valued to fighting men and women who keep the watch over the region. Yeah, we got a beat up Montana chapter. Up here. Expand army training? Yeah, that'd be good to do next. And sure, you can have stuff. It disappeared. Team October received an odd request. A group of mothers, wives, and siblings of convict convicts shipped east and asked about the corporal to check into where their families were going. Although, of course, Ellen Santiago is adamant that all, all labor conscripts are taken care of, their families haven't heard from them in months and would lack the corporal to investigate. This is somewhat silly, of course. Ellen Santiago knows what's best, and the letters that make it home are full of praise for the comforts of Chicago's bright lights. But why not investigate to quash these rumors? And how will she and Team October respond? Let's put the rumors to rest. Let's see what happens. The corporal's first visit was a retired officer who now resides in the veteran settlement of Eagle's Rest. Sadly, Tom was not kind to the old man who, when the corporal met him, was on his fourth bottle, Synthanol, of the day. The corporal slandered in her uniform stain. You know you can't get drunk on that, right? Nothing real around here, he said, but we all pretend anyways, don't we? Why not me too? The old man paused, his eyes creasing. So, is this a visit from the colonel? Or the local? He took a step back and knocked over his Mr. Hannity to do so. Crap, darn thing will have to be repaired now. The corporal sat down, brushing away some crumbs to do so. Some families asked me to check on their husbands and sons, you know, make sure they're okay. Quash those brotherhood rumors. I see you handled resource conscription. But the files don't say where exactly you went. The corporal paused, the old man's hands troubled as she saw, and you owe me three forks. Four three forks. Uh, the old man sighed, I'm a washed up old man, and what's in it for me to talk? If you want to forget, try the hard stuff. Do not serve your nation, and will you not serve Team October? Remember what you did that day? I wonder what else. I wonder who else does. Political power caps. I'd rather lose political power right now. Because with the caps, we can invest into more stuff. Human resources. Uh, one of the advantages of the North is its isolation to that end. Chicago requests access to a certain biological samples for further refinement. While there may be casualties among the wasteland population in the long run, the survivors shall thank us. For most says, Frank's firearms. Some say Frank's family were held in Camp Little uh, Gulp. Or Little Guangdong when the bombs fell, but the way he tells it, they were loyal citizens. Whatever his family's backstory, he's long been the best weaponsmith in Missoula. The Gibsonville outpost. Gibsonville has been abandoned since the Great War, but it still guards the routes from Idaho. With proper fortifications in the region, we can cut off Heaven's Gate in the passes. Democracy, huh? No. Definitely radicalism for us. Uh. We 
we're just a bunch of radicals here. Anything else we need to do there? No, no. There you go, that one. Slave collars are nice. Send us some prospectors. That's fine. Oh, dispatch one amigos to the nucleus. Aliens? Oh, this is where we get aliens from. You can optimize training too. Nice. Scavenge PA is all right. Chicago reinforcements, the last professional army. One advantage of the MacArthur Detachment's military force is that it is, by and large, still a trained military force. This gives us a rival over the rabble that surrounds our oasis of stability, the Marshals. Led by Sheriff Hadley, the Marshals serve as civilian auxiliaries to MacArthur and enforce the Colonel's authority in Missoula and beyond, increasing the ranks of both of the United States Army's limited manpower out west. Uh, fun the Crow Trucking Company. The heroes of Montana are the Crows, whose trucks connect to the North Settlements. The garage in Missoula produces a handful of trucks a month, but with proper investment. The en Enclave Engineering. We could double or perhaps triple that. This will not help just the people of the North, it will also cement the Colonel's rule. It's also very important to do, too. Uh, we could do that one, or we could make it cheaper for us to use them. Nice. Action is not much we can really do yet. Come up the node. More money, please. And then we'll see. Excellent. How much electricity do we have? 23 still, that's not bad. If I was establishing himself, so be it. Help, help us out. Um, honestly, we can get more water that way too. Send five for advanced power armor, sure. You know what? I want that a little bit of advanced power armor. It's fine. Little Reno. Uh, the Salvadors came east with Reno, uh, from Reno with us after the fall of Navarro. Now one of them seeks to set up a charming little club to give the people a taste of the flavors of the West. We may use enforcers in the end, we'll see. December. So I'm good at this one too. It's fine. Never stop fighting for the American people. It's one of the greatest tragedies that so much of the Northern Commonwealth tolerates slavery. Whether they're servants of Heaven's Gate, serfs of the cons of the Canadian proletariat, thousands outside our borders choke under bondage. We must open our hearts and settlements to them. And McSweeney's shop. Uh, McSweeney's faux Scottish accent, derived from holotapes and pre-war recordings, is annoying, but none can deny that it runs the best machine shop in Missoula. Well, the only one, if we're being honest, you know. Little Reno. Do that one next too. Good. Reference manuals, nice. Could we go to war with these guys? Or unless they're fighting. Oh, they're fighting someone else. Hmm. Shelter from a storm. The stormmonger's depraved cult is a threat to all the wasteland. And we're fair citizens in Montana. We're going to help the great work. We're going to have to liberate the peoples of the Great Falls. Level 5, we're getting better. Excellent. Well, we'll see what happens. Total value 50,500. Very nice. Um, Kind of stuck with what they got for now. Secret sauce. Wrote the book. Fly boy. That's normal. Made in heaven. Anywhere in the air. Uh, Michael Page. Well, we can start working on air XP, I guess. The den. Nerino. 
Same old story, although the little Reno's booming, bringing a bit of glamour to Missoula, Salvatore brought his own sheer problem, so this seems. That some of his staff have been buying the Enclave equipment to fund raids in exchange for jet booze and other narcotics. Um, it seems September's been tasked with dealing with it. How will Corporal Stimson respond? Maybe that Salvatore is trying to double cross us and we can easily find evidence to bury him in a little Golgotha along with the rest of his crew, or perhaps we can come to some sort of agreement. After all, Salvatore stole some sources we don't. Get my plasma gun? There's no way to treat a distinguished small businessman. There's no way. Let's see, two time dealer. I'm scared straight. Caps expenses goes down still. Damage gets in this remains the same. Worse consumer goods, but better resource efficiency gain. I'm gonna go with this one. Let's go a little different. The Marshals. Better stop fighting for the American dream. We're going in. So I'm sorry, Sword Mongers, you probably really hate your life right now. I'm a wash in the land and the blood of the land. Oh, you need focus sheet. Cool. Can't wait to play some sometime. So you can actually encircle them. Encirclements are king. After that, we need machinery and marshals. Of course, I heard that one. Chicago reinforcements. It's Alan Santiago's request. The Secretary of the Interior sent equipment west, of course. This may require further action or attention to Chicago's derivatives. The old museum. Bozeman was once hold, uh, to hold the American Computer and Robotics Museum. At the time, these were obsolete artifacts. Today, these old devices are the way sun's cutting edge and beyond. I guess I'll go ahead, too. Find them and beat them. Ooh, we got plenty of money. Oh no, military sending bonuses. Who could have seen that one coming? Where are you going? You can find the enemy, just beat them. Senseless. Crops of feed hungry nation? Oh yeah. As it should be. Good. Conrad, eh? Who are you that do not know your history? The historians, a group of scholars and teachers, have been conquered. Now they come to MacArthur, begging for a new home. There's much to be gained from letting them in, while we know how to maintain advanced weapons and circuitry. Some of the simpler arts are not really practiced in Montana, as such. Their practical knowledge of farming could be useful to our citizens, but isn't there a danger? They have sadly a corrupted view of history, a harshly negative view of pre-war America, and we unfortunately would lack the strength to correct all the errors. Colonel, what should we do? How dangerous could they be? Confiscate the resources for the war effort? You know what? We're gonna let them in. Let's play with them a little bit. I don't want to use these guys. I don't want to take any more casualties. So you're going to go home. And you are going to go there. I'm a little surprised the war's not over yet. You know, being a three-way war, that would fluster me just a little bit. Not too much. Just a little bit. Oh, never mind. Do we get to take everything here? Uh, probably a bad idea to do this. I guess they're fighting the Metal Mounds, maybe? Cult of Liberty, which I have played as before. We don't have a ton of divisions, but you know we don't have a ton either. Colors, yes. 
patronize historians. Hey, more stability and political power, that's good. Requires 50 cap to do, though. Lakota Auxiliaries. Grounded tradition and resilient spirit. If they accept, we'll gain more manpower and intellectual support. Our Western Wardens. The whole country exists. Well. Well, I guess they're dead. Heavy weapons assistance. Do we get any cores? Uh, I think we'll have to core things ourselves, maybe. So we're not going to do Call to Liberty's core stuff, core land. Core territories, core territories. We don't get any cores. Crud. So that kind of sucks, so we'll have to core ourselves. That's fine. Could we actually go to war at the same time with these guys? Is that too radical for us? Marshals driver deployment's good too. Hey, oh, we got great balls too. Awesome. Marshals. Heavy weapons assistance. Chicago reinforcements. Uh, Patronized historian. Since the historian slid MacArthur, they found a welcome role in her ranks. Perhaps it's time to give them even greater support. Knowing your past never harmed anybody. Eh, I don't know about that. Sisters, um, we're gonna go over here and then do more research speed. Send some magnet prospectors. I think that'd be fine. Optimized training wouldn't be bad either. Missoula, please and thank you. Yeah, would that be too radical? Going to war next too. Hey, there we go. Total value it went down, unfortunately. Going back up, level seven. They're at war. Send team October. Although we're not ready yet to face Elder Patroculus and their filth directly, we'll never stop fighting for the American people. Team October's got a plan. How long is that going to take them? We got to do the focus first. So hopefully they last until the focus is done. At least the last American army. Call it veterans. You definitely want to stay over here, the last American army. Um, waste on economy, economic advisor. Yeah, we've already seen all of these. Civilian outreach. Starting compliance is not bad. Scared straight. Um, I want that money. Optimized trading. Sure. New systems care package would be bad either. Come on, hold out, god dang it. Please tell me this is their capital. After they lose the bank. Call the National Guard. Their version of the National Guard. Uh huh. Max factories. At least let us get this one. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. The Enclave doesn't go to hell because we're raising doesn't go to heaven because we're raising hell. The reports from the east are now worse than we feared. Elder Patroculus controls an empire of darkness, with multiple points of weakness. Slave barracks outside some paladin thrust garage where dead eyed women and children strip old car parts for anything of use. A former historian soup kitchen at an old airfield hosts the planes they call an air force. And for some reason, they built an arena where travels engage in their animalistic instincts for the paladin's amusement, a waste of resources for all involved. Sitting in booth, uh, the brother uh, brotherhood ex Elite satiate their bloodlust in a manner unbecoming of descendants of the United States Army. Any of these strikers would be great to hit, but we can only strike one. Corporal, what are your orders? The Brotherhood really doesn't need those cars. Hmm. Any weapon is an anti-aircraft gun, if the plane is on the ground. One booth, you say. One day our 
uh, enemies will stop la standing within the blast radius of a plasma grenade, but they're not today. Let's be aggressive. So when they go to war with someone else, we're going to do that too. Oh, you know what? I bought Re uh, Reliance. To secure the vast waste of the north, we need robotic little helpers. Chicago's glad to provide them at a cost, of course. For 40 caps, we gain additional ability in selected non-core states to prove compliance. Because iBots are a panopticon that sounds ascend, you see. I like that a lot. Cultural assimilation? I don't want any more resistance, though. I like the daily compliance, don't get me wrong. But, still. How much money do we have? We're actually doing okay on money. Not great, but okay. Can't yeah, no longer promote the node. We're level 8, which is actually pretty good overall. And we also have Great Falls, too, so... We're going to be making some serious bank here, hopefully. Nice. So with all the money coming in, we should be alright. Should be. Emphasis on should. And I want a bigger army than a, than a very, very good army for currently. Fine, they get 3.8, that's fine, whatever. Technology, research... Good. Medical cam companies for the infantry for now. After the war, smoke signals are nice. I'm not sure why we'd use smoke signals as the enclave, but that's okay. Now we go next. Alright. So, how do we boost uh, compliance? Organization relations, advanced technology, science. Cultural simulation. I'm gonna do one of these for fun too. Aliens? Uh, in selected non core states. Ah, it's right here. It's hard to see. Plus 40% compliance? Oh, that's totally worth it. Um, this one's more manpower, so there's more people we gotta watch out for. An iBot, nice. Nice, really boosted that compliance, so it'll help keep resistance down. If they're more compliant, that's that's good. Get us that money, my god. Because I know the Cold of Liberty would want to come kill us. I think the Metal Mouths want to kill us too. So, that still wouldn't be good. Empiricism, nice. Feeling pretty good about this campaign so far. Happy uh, September, everybody. Of course, I always love playing as the Enclave. My favorite group of people to play as. Oh, of course, I'm, a, I'm just a giant slut for power armor in general. Um, I do want to make them a little larger, but we'll have to wait and see. She, the evil NCR. All right. Refurbished highways. Mm, Shield of humanity. Yeah, yeah, mutants, ghouls, uh, mutants, and ghouls with guns. The wasteland is full of many threats, but the Enclave is here to protect you and rebel America. Yeah. Oh, wait, do we lose that ability? Oh, I should have realized where we were going. Oh, we're going to go now. Alright, we're going in. The new home for old men. A detachment of Enclave still remain on the west coast as mercenaries, but perhaps it's time to call them home rather than waste their time serving the Salvatores or the Van Graft. After all, we can think of no better men in Garrison Granite Company than these fine, fine fellows. I hate using infantry for this, but whatever. Go here. As long as we take some territory, that's okay with me. Just being extremely aggressive right now. And door service is good. Uh, so that's what we got. Get some barrage balloons too going. Hill and Havra. Nice. Good stuff. Shipments to Chicago. That's fine. I don't think we can improve Missoula anymore, can we? I mean, we're not really investing in Great Falls yet either. But with a little bit more money, we get a little more iBots. Nice. 
Nice. Good stuff. Decode signals, nice. As long as I'm not that at a time, it's fine. Find him, kill him. Good. So they can deal with the rest of them. We'll get maybe a tile. Which I'm okay with. And actually, we're going to start working on this stuff here, too. We are at war, so we can't do anything there. Okay. Chief of the Navy on the uh, wagon? They say that in the vast depths of the ocean, the enclave saw some pre-war vessels that can destroy cities. And then there's O'Brien. The man proves that even 200 years, even after 200 years of a nuclear war, it's still possible to sign naval officers to Montana if they get drunk and crash into a cargo ship. Well, it is what it is, I guess. And we're going to definitely go with Victoria Flyers. Compliance, yes. Did you Fort Benton? There we go. I think we did most of these areas. Oh, down here too, probably. Get more compliance. Up slow resistance. Wow, already at 100? Holy crap, cow. Oh, screw it, we're gonna keep going up that way. They sure are taking a while. What are even, even on these Enclave Divisions? There's 16 combo, which is not terrible. It's not great. Still. Guitar Factory? Bozeman was home to the mightier Guitar Factory before the war. And craftsmen continue the tradition to this day, although some of the songs surprisingly are unorthodox. None can deny the sweet sounds they play. Granite's first company, second. Oh wow, they're actually 20 combo wood. Impressive. You must be very proud of your droids. I did say I want bigger division, but still. Alright, so. all these. Then they might go to war with us. Do we take this one too? Alright. This is ugly. That's all I gotta say about it. And just in case, you infantry divisions can go here. Here. And here, you're not going to have enough divisions to guard the line, but that's okay. There you go. Have fun with that. And now we have nine divisions to go here. I'm going to stop making this division. Um, I'm not sure what type of division we want to really make. Rabbit response. Twelve and a half is nice. Mm. You know, we're going to keep this, this template. Can I convert you guys all to this one? And we're not going to call it uh, Grant's Company. Uh, something like this. There you go. And that's what I thought. And now we are going to do what? Get more money, of course. Increased resistance, but um, I do want to get more stuff from Chicago. Power is going to be very important right now. Barrage bones are nice. We'll grab some of that. Uh, I can't go down very quiet yet. Well, that way I don't have to spend all that army XP. You guys will be a pain in the butt to handle, but they're not that big, and then they do go to war with us. It shouldn't be too bad. It's going to take too long. Okay, can we just fight them on ourselves? And I'll honestly, they might as well just wait for them to come and try to kill us first. Okay. I don't know what division to use. I guess we can train more auxiliaries, I suppose. I pulled the line. The power armor is just going to go around the enemies anyways. It's fine. I don't care about that. How much money do we have? Not enough. God dang it. Alright. Guitar Factory. This is probably a very aggressive MacArthur that we've used so far. Uh, yeah. 
perfect highway. Montana's great highways have fallen in disarray, but Ellen Santiago will spare no expense to prove the lives of her citizens. Then this will help army travel is, of course, a nice benefit. That's fine. It's very little. Good. The convoys? Neither rain nor snow nor raider gangs will keep the convoys of Missoula from the road. Aren't they a beautiful sight? And one day we're going to roll this trucking convoy across America. Subs that has a tellurium mine. Tellurium is one of Earth's rarest metals, but invaluable for complex metallurgy. By learning the first families of our equipment, they can expand their mining operations to supply us with the precious metal. Very nice. I'm going to keep one at all times to start working on pouring costs. Have an iPod present. Good. Good. Boost it up. And we're going to create an intelligence agency for America. Expand army training. Optimize trading. Not settlements. First high works. Good. Until someone else wants to come kill us, too. Then that'd be really bad. Cosmos Punch, huh? That's what they do. Enclave's Burden. Well, yeah. Take up the Enclave's Burden and send forth the best you breed. Go bind your son's exile to serve the Oisan's art need. To wait in heavy harness, on fluttered folk and wild, be new caught, mutant peoples, half devil and half child. Very good. Happy June? Or June? July. Manpower it is. Hmm. We can continue to militarize society, but I think we're okay. Would like to do uh, military investing, military signing bonuses, but can't quite yet do that. Very good. I'm gonna burden. Good. D7 is nice. Five's not bad. Help the agricultural experts because we can. Uh, Middlemark Grand Reopening. If you wonder about this, please go right ahead. Oh, I can't wait to go. Oh, the Mon. Oh, they're fighting. Ooh. Did not realize that. Hmm. What if I back it up a little bit? Nah, I don't know if I can do that. We'll see. I think I might end up there because I might want to see if we can actually send some divisions to the Middlemouth to help beat up the Montana chapter. I think that'd be great. Our second set of skin. Power armor changed the nature of modern warfare, and still dominated in today's uh, post-modern warfare. While the brother is proud of the power, power armor prowess, their main skill seems to be dying in it. Heavy weapon assistance, maybe? The secretary will gladly provide us with more weapon assistance. It will come at a price, though. Surely we don't mind sacrificing for the greater good. And the harness of Bozeman's hot springs. Heaven's Gate thinks geothermal energy is the stuff of miracles, but it's nothing to American ingenuity. Ellen Santiago will gladly provide heat and light to the refugees in town and God's garden. MacArthur Army Base is home to the unique set of greenhouses, which grow tropical fruits not seen in the Rockies for almost two centuries. Oranges, avocados, bananas, and more are served on the Colonel's table, courtesy of what the natives call God's Garden. But I think we'll end it there. We've done very well in the first episode. We definitely expand a lot more, and we have two trade nodes. Fantastic. But if you enjoyed this episode, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. I'll just see what else we can do with good old MacArthur. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.